Hey guys, welcome back to another steamy Steam Deck video from my living room because I'm not upstairs right now in my office. I know, it looks a little bit dull and the camera quality is pretty bad, but we'll get through it, alright. Anyways, we've got some Steam Deck news. Um, Proton 7.05 is finally out for Steam Deck and Linux desktop and there's 14 new playable games. Now, this is the official version of Proton, okay? This isn't Proton GE, so it's, it's Valve's official release or latest update of Proton. Um, they finished, they, Valve has finished the current Proton next testing with Proton 7.05 now available as an update in your Steam library, replacing the previous Proton 7 version. Here's a run over of what's new. So there's new, newly, newly playable games and they include Rift, Unravel 2, Airborne Kingdom, Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull, Revolt, um, Aspire, Ina's Tale, Battle Realms, Sen Edition, Death Smiles 2, Primal Carnage Extinction, Pico Park Classic Edition, Six Ages Ride Like the Wind, Dark Star one indiana jones and the emperor tomb and bullet storm full clip edition i love that game when it came out man um they've also added a pretty hefty list of fixes for specific games that were having issues so we've got a fix for batman arkham city game of the year launching in the background on the steam deck one set to full screen so that is a pretty popular game um let me know in the comments if you were having that issue they fixed marvel spider-man remaster displaying dialogue about outdated drivers on amd systems okay they fixed final fantasy um 4 3d remake having no audio that's a pretty big issue um fixed return to monkey island not re reacting to mouse clicks after a recent game update they fixed upside down videos in vr chat and many other games they fixed call of duty black ops 2 zombies a multiplayer hanging on exit fixed bail or jail crashing when opening on terms of service improved gta 5 resolution or situation with not loading textures that's a pretty big issue right there fixed red red uh, red dead redemption 2 crashing after a recent game update fixed final fantasy 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 online launcher functionality after game update fixed the cutscene stutter in this gear 5 um fixed trust master hotas having non-functional dial and elite dangerous Damn, are people getting their, their Thrustmaster flight sticks connected up to this game deck? That's kind of awesome. Um, fixed Planet Zoo randomly crashing. Fixed SCP Secret Laboratory not being playable after a recent game update again. Fixed Tekken 7 crashing at launch. Fixed Armello hanging on up exit. We fixed Sword Art Online. Hollow Realization freezing after the tutorial. Fixed Space Engineers intro video not playing correctly. Fixed Dragon Dogma Dark Arisen videos not playing correctly. Implemented network video support for VR chat and up updated DXVK to version version 1.10.3.28 um, GE 3D AA 699. Um, um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, this comes courtesy of Gaming on Linux for posting it. Obviously, it was posted on the official GitHub here the new proton which is great um lots of goodies and lots of updates so that's awesome they've also look at all the other fixes they've added as well look at that look at this um now playable uncharted legacy of thieves collection so they've added a bunch of games persona 5 Royal. so there we go guys a massive pretty hefty update to proton um and like it says if you're having any issues with your games or proton in general um definitely check out proton ge now i've posted a how-to video on how to guide video on my channel so go check go back and check and see if you want to download proton ge which is the experimental build of proton updated by the community of all people um so that's awesome um so yeah new updates um i'm this is the the issue with proton right it's some games release updates and it breaks support on steam os which can be a little bit of a pain but it's part and parcel of the whole proton compatibility layer right running windows software designed for windows on linux you know obviously little updates are going to break support i mean we've seen that with ea's games um, it's a little bit concerning that Valve are having to go in game by on a game by game basis and fix these little bugs. I worry about older games that maybe don't have as much support having issues down the line, um, or even just smaller new games that have issues um, that might not get as much coverage from the community as bigger games. Right? Um, what happens when they break? after a patch or update gets released, you know, how soon are Valve going to fix it? How soon are Valve going to push out an update to Proton to fix it? Um, it remains to be seen, right? If they're going to have to go in game by game to fix little individual bugs within 
potentially hundreds or thousands of games. It's concerning, but like it says, if you want to be if you want to, if you want your Steam Deck to be foolproof, gold deal boot gold deal boot it. Um, as I've done with mine, I've got Windows running alongside Steam OS. I upgraded my Steam Deck's SSD to two terabytes. Put, I slapped a one terabyte micro SD in, so I've got three terabytes in total. So plenty of space for Windows and Steam OS. So I'd recommend doing that. I've I've did a video showing how to upgrade your SSD. Go check that on my channel as well. But yeah, um, new Proton update, more compatibility, bunch of bug fixes for games. Um, let me know what. You think in the comments, has this update fixed any games that you were playing, you were having issues with? Is there any issues you're still having? Let me know in the comments because we need to talk about this as a community um, and get to the bottom of this and report issues to Valve as soon as possible and hope and hope and pray that you fix them. Anyways, guys, still a little update talking about the new release of Proton. Um, I'm hoping to be back in my office tomorrow, so I will see you then. And um Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your homepage every single day. I'm Blaze2K and I'll see you in the next video.